So, it's Christmas time. Yay! Um, <clears throat> and one thing that occurs to me is, you know, this year I, I'm in good spirits for Christmas, and I'm looking forward to it, and all the Christmas lights are up, and there's decorations in every room, including this one, and everybody's happy, except the guys who are fighting on the ice there, on the TV in the background, but, you know, all right, let me just turn away from the TV for a second here. It's not that way for everybody. Christmas is, for some people, the most depressing time of the year. And with my movies and TV channel, of course, I could talk about the wonders of Christmas vacation, the wonders of um, the various Christmas Carol movies that I've watched. I used to stay up and I'd watch the old Alistair Sim Christmas Carol. I would stay up till it was on midnight, Christmas morning on CBC every year, and I would stay up and watch it. But, let me get in a frame here. There, now, I'm, now I'm centered. Drive me nuts. There are a lot of people who don't really enjoy this time of year. And it's not... It's funny to me. Not funny. Funny's the wrong word. It's, it's odd to me that we have, like, Mental Health Month, I think, is in February. When, at this time of year, for, for people who are alone, and you don't... Maybe you don't have family or friends. Maybe you're alone. You don't have a relationship. As somebody who went through three Christmases in a row by myself, um, and that was after some very unsatisfying Christmases when I was married, which followed a childhood where sometimes my, my father would be hungover and it made for some awkward Christmas dinners. Christmas sometimes is the time of year where all the fights come out. Sort of like your family can tolerate each other and then Christmas comes up and... Ah! Hate you comes out. So there's that. Now, as as a person who understands the loneliness of Christmas, I decided I'm gonna to put together movies from my collection that I would watch were I not in this decent situation right now, if I were still in that dank dark apartment and I was by myself for Christmas. Um and I mean I've been with my son, so I don't want to make it sound like I've been completely alone. You know, I've had my son there, and it's been good to have my son there. But it's different than when you, you're used to having a full family and having stuff to do and places to go. I mean, I would have Christmas, go to my mom's, and we'd have this. But there was, like, basically two hours out of one, an entire season. And Christmas is, is a season where I could kind of take my mind off of how everything had fallen apart. There are plenty of people who don't have that opportunity. So, that being considered... I thought, you know what, I'm going to put together just movies that if... And these are popular movies, okay? But I understand this is the internet, and there are people who may be under the age of 18, 19, 20, even 30, who maybe said, I don't know, this movie looks stupid. This is the most popular movie in history. If you haven't watched it, um, why haven't you watched it? Now, uh, Yvonne was just telling me I'm wrong. She says Labyrinth is more a Christmas movie than this one. Now, of course... Full disclosure, I haven't watched Labyrinth. I bought it last week. I am going to watch it with her over the Christmas holiday. This I've watched innumerable times. To me, this has a Christmas feel to it in that it's a, a grandfather reading to his grandson while he's sick. And it's the storybook fantasy. And to me, for that, it has a Christmassy feel to it. But not everything I'm going to talk about is going to be Christmassy. Captain America. And Captain America Winter Soldier, which I don't have on DVD or Blu-ray. I admit, I do not have Winter Soldier on DVD or Blu-ray. But the Captain America movies, based on when they're set and based on some of the settings, some of the set pieces and some of the shots, fantastic, fantastic movies. I was actually really surprised at how good the Captain America movies were since when they announced they were making Captain America. I'm like, why? He's the lamest of all the superheroes. And uh, got a shield, yay. But this, honestly, and, and the sequel are both just fantastic. Um, and of all of the Marvel Universe, it's almost my favorite. I'm going to get to my favorite, though. Now, if you want to watch a TV series and you want to binge watch a TV series, you binge watch Faulty Towers. Is it Christmas? No. It's funny as hell. And when you're down and you're like, oh, Christmas sucks. This will guarantee... The Germans episode alone will take you out of... Unless you're German. Well, no. Even the Germans wouldn't care. This this is just absolutely fantastic, every episode out of 12. And it is an example of why sometimes having 23 episodes a season and 10 seasons of a show is a bad idea. 
Sometimes you get a good idea and you just make 12 episodes and then you're done. And then it's good. You've left it perfect. Again, this is not a Christmas movie. But why not? I mean, the rug symbolizes whatever you've lost. It, it, it really tied the room together. And uh, there are so many things in Lebowski that just... And it's got a character named Jesus. So you're set, right? You could say... Well, the character's name is Jesus. It's a Christmas movie. So I'm set. See? See? You get a movie with a... See? This is the best of the Christmas movies related to Marvel. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy is so much fun and it's so lighthearted. And it's so out there. And it's... It is just... It's that kind of thing that I, I think is important when you're kind of down in the holidays. And Guardians of the Galaxy has... For me, tremendous appeal. I absolutely love it. Um, very, very much looking forward to the sequel. And between this and Captain America, they honestly could just ditch the Avengers as far as I'm concerned. Have the Guardians of the Galaxy, Captain America, and Thor all working together, and I'd be fine. You just ditch the rest. Even Tony Stark right now, as far as I'm concerned, you could just, okay, put him out to pasture. I'm done with Iron Man. This has been a Christmas movie for years. Now, there is a resemblance and I get it. Uh, for whatever reason, um, Jack Nicholson in this movie and myself, uh, there's a strong resemblance there. Especially when I'm raging about a really bad day at work. There's a strong resemblance to that picture. But it's in the snow. It's in the winter. It's a family movie. There's a family there. And uh, in the case of if you're alone and your family kind of abandoned you, uh, you can you can vicariously live through him. But you don't get a happy ending if you're vicariously living through him. Spoiler alert. But The Shining is just an amazing movie. And it's in the snow. Now, if you want to binge watch TV, or TV series, movies, uh, I got this uh, trilogy. And Star Wars, Wrath of Khan, Star Wars, Star Trek. <laughs> watch everybody's brain explode. Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Trek. Star Trek, Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, Voyage Home is a trilogy that starts out feeling volatile and violent uh, in the middle gets uh, a little bit hopeful and weird and in the end is just a fun fun romp so it's sort of like christmas that way it's violent and then it's weird and then you're okay because it's over so um yeah uh these these movies i think can be watched back to back to back and they're fantastic um bears decided to come over and help me with my list good for her uh this is obviously a christmas movie and I'm not even kidding. Uh, it takes place at Christmas. Um, there is a good chance this will be watched in my home between now and Christmas as a Christmas movie. Because it is a Christmas movie. Think that over. Don't debate it. Die Hard is a Christmas movie too. So anybody who says, well, where's Die Hard? I don't own Die Hard, but the original Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Absolutely. Dogma. So this is the time of year where we get all the religious overtones to everything. And for some people who may not be religious, it may seem kind of heavy-handed. So you, you put on dogma, which has uh, enraged religious people over the decades. I'm not sure why. It doesn't take anything seriously, but people take it seriously, which I think is kind of weird. It's a Jay and Silent Bob in it. So you can only take so much seriously with it. But dogma is a pretty fantastic movie. It drags in spots, I admit. Having watched it a number of times, there are parts of the movie where it just sort of drags. But you got angels, and you got heaven, and you got God, and you got hell, and demons, and all the wonderful stuff that makes uh, Christmas special. Yeah, no, there's demons. Yeah, no, it's just it's in the back of the Bible. Okay, uh, Hitchhiker's, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, again, if you're alone on Christmas and you don't really care about the world, this has the world getting exploded at the start. So it's a feel-good movie. And it, you know, when, when Earth eventually makes some kind of a weird return, it's not the same Earth, so you can still feel good that everybody you knew was dead, uh, if you're in that mindset. Now I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach. I'm going to reach hard. Conan the Barbarian, the original. The original, not the new crap. They got the new crap on TV today. And I'm like, oh man, I don't, I don't even know if Yvonne's seen the original. I don't think she has, but uh, it's pretty fantastic. Uh, the music is amazing. The music you could you could close your eyes, and listen to the theme music from Conan, and go, "Yeah, that's kind of Christmassy." Sure, yeah, we don't, we can do we can do Christmas for that. 
Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger at his uh, most unintelligible English. But uh, honestly, his acting's pretty strong as Conan. It's sort of like, here, here's a sword, go hit things. I can do that. And then he goes and does it. And it's uh, pretty amazing stuff. Uh, am I reaching? No. But when I was a kid, um, the Star Wars movies were major. Now, of course, we've got Rogue One coming out in five days. And Rogue One looks amazing. Uh, binge watch the original trilogy. Not the prequels. Don't. You want to cheer yourself up on on the Christmas holiday. You don't want to depress yourself. Don't watch the prequels. Um, Empire especially has the Christmassy feel. That it's hot and it's cold. And then you've got Yoda and it's kind of a boggy swamp. And it looks like that's probably pretty cold too. And there's all this enlightenment. And this fight between good and evil. And it's pretty fantastic stuff. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with Jedi or the original Star Wars. But Empire is of course the absolute perfect movie. And finally... And I've pushed this movie before, and I'm going to continue pushing it until everybody's seen it. Night of the Comet. The fact that the Earth gets wiped out by the Comet is pretty awesome. The fact that the movie is set in California at Christmas is even better. So, you know, and, and you hear it. I mean, you hear the radio throughout the whole movie, and the DJ's counting down the days till Christmas. So even though it's California, and you tell it's sunny and it's warm, it, it is Christmas. You do hear Christmas carols. And towards the end, Hector, the main one, the main male character, is dressed up as Santa Claus. So it is Christmas. He comes into the to, to the radio station. Merry Christmas! And even though there's zombies eating people, it's okay because there's a Christmas feel to it. So again, uh, if if you're struggling because it's Christmas, you're not alone. Um, I've had it. I know that even with where I am and with everything going great, I'm still struggling with some things uh, because that happens. Um, it is that time of year when you reflect even more so, I think, than New Year's. New Year's is more about getting loaded. Uh, Christmas is about unloading and all of these emotional things come up. So anyways, uh, I just thought I'd throw that out there, uh, throw up a video on my movie and TV channel. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and, uh, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're just browsing through. Uh, I know I don't post as many videos here as I do on my hockey channel, my main channel. But I do think about you guys, and uh, I do try to post here as regularly as possible. Again, now that I've got a cable back, I'll be able to talk more about TV. Of course, I've got hockey on all the time, but that's going to change eventually. Uh, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I will talk to you all again soon.